nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, a cave trade pool. And I woke up uh, early today. I just couldn't keep my hands off my pool table. Just like men can't keep their hands off women. I can't keep my hands off the pool tables. Especially my own pool table. So let's begin. So where did I leave off? And why is the cue ball over there? Okay, I don't remember the cue ball being over there. What happened? So yesterday I just racked the balls like that to, to prepare the sunlight, sunlight coming in here in this area in the morning. Every time in the morning you get the sunlight on the table. I don't like that. And okay, so let's begin. And I don't want the one the cue ball to be over here. I I don't remember me leaving leaving a position like this. So I was I will just start from here. Here's a good opportunity. Here, good way to to show you that. If you're on this side of the line, you might scratch in the corner. Especially if the ball is closer to the pack, then you can scratch in the, in the corner. But now it's further away from the pack. So the top spin is going to have an effect before it is going to hit the, hit the pack. So I think I will avoid the, the scratch. Because the break ball is further away from the, from the rack. So I use top. Top left spin. There you go. I, I avoided the, the, the scratch there, but I didn't get any, any good results from, from that break shot. So that's why I want to hit it thinner. Got to, got to hit the, the pack. Got to make the break ball thinner so you get more, more speed on the, on the cue ball. So I will do it again. So that is why I like to be a little thin, like thin, very thin like that on the break ball. And that, now we get a better break. There you go. The ball spread open more than, than if you are full on the, on the break ball. And now let's continue here. What I like to do is I make the four in the corner. I go this direction. I want to hit the 14 uh, on the top side, otherwise I must get stuck here. But if I get stuck, I still have the 9 ball I can make. Okay? So that's a good backup plan. And I just need to be worried about the scratch here. Okay? I don't want to use too much speed that I will scratch in the side. Okay? Like that! Oof, that was a close one! Ah, I used too much, too much speed on that shot. Too much speed. That was a risky shot. But I didn't want to shoot too soft either and get stuck there. Now I, I have many choices. I will pick this one, the 11. And we need to fix this problem here also. But first I make the 11. I play position. Maybe for the one ball, because the one ball is blocking the nine. But yeah, if I'm here on the one ball, I can break open with this problem. So I, I'll do that. Yeah, there you go. And now I will break open that problem, play position for the nine here. When I hit this cluster over here, I will have position on the nine, so that's very good. And if I miss this, if I hit this eight instead, I might get position on the 7, so that's fine as well. But I, I don't want to hit the bottom side of that cluster because then I don't have a shot. I want to hit the, the top side, either the top side of the cluster or the 8 ball. So I use that right, low right spin. And I, I had to hit it fuller than, than normally, just to get to the top side. I will do the same. And did I hit any balls there? Did I hit something? I think I hit a little. I will do it again. Low right spin to throw it in. 
there you go. Now I hit some balls there. Nice. Now I, I, I can't make the five there. I need to make the nine. That is good. I make the nine and then I can make the 12 in the corner. Um, yeah, here, here I, I will play position. I will attempt to get position here so I can make the 7 in the corner because the 7 is being blocked by all of these balls. I can't eat so easily get to, to the 7. So I will make the 9. I, will, I hope that I will, get the, I will get position on the 7. But if I don't, I still have other balls to choose from. And yeah, now I can make the 7 there. I can make the 7 in the corner and that will fix a lot of problems. Yeah, and now we need to think about uh, breaking open that problem, but the combination is quite easy, so I will make a combination here. So here, I will, I will play position for the either the 8 ball in the side or the 2 ball in the corner, depending on what will happen. Yeah, what is the best choice here? Yeah, 2 ball in the corner. And we need to think about the, the break break ball. And on this shot, I could draw back the cube ball, hit the five, and push the five into this place. But what about the position after that? We don't have any good any good ball to to play after that shot because the cue ball will end up being here, and there's no shot except for uh, this. You can make the cut co combination, but that is tough. Uh, yeah, we could of course use a 14 as a break ball here, if we are here on the 14, cut it in, break open the pack, that is possible as well, but, but uh, I think I should just try to go, go for it, go and push, push the five into a break spot, because we, we may not get another chance at this because there are so few balls on the table we, we may not get another chance at, at, at uh, moving a ball into a break spot so I will do that I will do a draw shot with left spin left spin on the cue ball to throw the 5 here otherwise the 5 will go too high up so that is why I use left spin on the cue ball left no wait a minute wait i need right spin i need to use right spin because the cube ball has right spin from this location from this direction to give the cube ball needs to have a right spin uh whoops what did i do there i i accidentally moved the ball so right spin cube ball has right spin traveling like this and then it will throw the five here instead of going there okay so right right spin on the cue ball okay the problem is i can't reach the, the right side of the cue ball to get right spin because the 14 is in the way that is a problem so i i can't do that so i need to use a oof, i need to use a pure just pure draw shot Pure draw shot. And like you, like you saw, it started going up, high, high up, because I couldn't get right spin on the cue ball because the fourteen was blocking the cue ball. So now the fifth, the five ball did not go end up in a good place. Okay, so now I guess it made it twelve in the side, of course. And like, like I said, this combination. Now this combination is too difficult because I can't stroke it properly, so I need to select the, tw the 12 ball here. Got to select, select the 12. I don't, I don't have a choice. So I will just pick positions over here for the combination then, okay. There you go. And now I have a chance to, when I make the combination, the 50 ball will end up going here, okay into a break location. The problem is that I'm wor worried that it will lock up these balls here. That's what I'm worried about and I, I just don't like that. Yeah. 
I'm going to use left spin on the cue ball because then the 50 ball will get right spin and it will go up this way instead of going back that way. Okay, so left spin on the cue ball. And I want to play a position for the 5 here with the cue ball. High, high up somewhere here, maybe the 8 or the 5. Okay, so left spin on the cue ball. Yeah, and now I because I hit it, I hit the uh, six so on the top side, so the fifteen did not hit the rail and come out again. If I had hit the six thin, then the fifteen would have hit the rail and come out here, but it didn't because I, I didn't hit the combination that good. So here, yeah, I here I need I need to select the fourteen as the break ball. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice here, so I will, I will make the 8 play position for the for the 15 and then from the 15 to the 5 make a stop shot on the 5 and then make a step in the side and follow it, follow the cue ball close to the rail. So that is my, my pattern here. Oh, what was that? I have really stopped aiming recently since I started with straight pool, I have stopped aiming, I just rely purely on, on uh, strategy, not, not aiming. Yeah, as you can see there, I will do it again, just pure, pure strategy game, no aiming whatsoever. And I want to play position for the five here. Yeah, play position high up, uh, go far. I didn't get far enough for the, for the five balls there. So there you go, there, that is how you lose the game. If you, if you don't get good, uh, good from the beginning, then you lose the game. It is just that simple. And now I need to make a soft shot to save or make it, I need to go around the table now. I don't have a choice. One red, two reds, three reds, four reds around the table for the 10. I don't have a choice. I can't stop the cue ball here because the cue ball will, will end up coming too far. And then I, I can't make a good shot on the 10. I need to be below the 10 here to get a good shot on the 14 after. So I need to go around the table. Tough shot now. Yeah, that works as well. No, I didn't have a good shot here. I need to make a bank shot here. I don't have a choice. And I get a double hit because I hit it wrong. There you go. That's this game over for you. For me. Game over. That is, let's just continue from there with that kind of break shot. When you start playing 10 ball, you move to straight pool, you start losing your skill. You can't make those shots, those good shots anymore. You just start playing those easy shots all the time and then you lose your skill. That, that is something that often happens when you play straight pool. Make those stop shots, easy roll shots. You start to lose your skill. You don't make, you can't make those tough cut shots anymore. Those uh, position shots, long, long distance position shots. You lose the skill when you play straight pool. And that is the reason why many, many, many ten ball players, nine ball players, they they complain that. Those good straight pool players, they can't play pool, okay? They don't have any skill. They can't play, but they have very good strategy in, in straight pool. That is how they can run so many racks. So here, I, I need to shoot hard into the pack. So I use the top left spin. There you go, and just have to make sure to shoot it hard and to break open the balls. And here the only only shot I have is the six ball here. And I need to break open this cluster very quickly. Always you need to always hurry about that. Don't waste time with other balls. 
So I would like to, I would prefer to go here for the seven and then break it open. So I will attempt for that. I might hit the five and I, I will be still okay if I hit the five. So no problem. Low right speed. There you go. Now immedi immediately, I want to break open the pack there. I don't want to waste time and go go try to find something easier. I need to do it right away. Okay, I need to gamble a little bit. I need to gamble here from the from the start. And then I will have a better better. I can't. I really can't see it good with this mask. I didn't know I would get a, a foul. There you go. Now. Now I open up some balls here, they're nice, no, no problems anywhere. This is how you should start the game with having no problems. And now, now right away, it start to start constructing the breaking ball, okay. I make the four, four ball first. I will attempt to push the eight into the break spot there, right from the beginning. Because they, I have so many balls to choose from, really, nothing, nothing can really go wrong. So time to construct. There you go, right from the beginning. Perfect. There you go. I have the break break ball already. Perfect break ball on the on the eighth there. Now I just need to run the rack. Just easy run the rack. I, I need to make sure to just uh, clear out the, the this area here. I don't want any balls to be close to the to the to the eighth. So I want to make the 30 ball as quickly as possible. Okay, as quickly as possible. And I don't want to, uh, normally you would just make the one, hit the three ball and start the cue ball there, but then I will lock up these balls and I don't want that. So I would like to make the 10 very quickly, very quickly. So let's see. Yeah. I'll just go, try to go between these balls here. I don't want to hit any balls. I don't want to hit any balls there, yeah. That was not so good. I just... Yeah, I'll make the 13 ball. I want to remove the 13. I don't want, I don't want the 13 to be there. Here I will hit the rail there with inside spin to slow down the cue ball. So left spin. Left spin like that. That is pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's three balls. Three ball must uh, go. I want to. I want to make the three ball. Maybe play position for these these two balls into the side pocket. Yeah. I don't like uh, when. Uh, I don't like when these two balls are so close to each other, so I'm gonna take the 10 ball out, out of the way. And now we need to look at the key ball, the second the last ball, how we can get to the 8 ball easily. I think it is a 9 ball here. Yeah. I want to remove the 10 ball and the 5 ball because the, the eight ball is blocking the five, so we can't make the five ball. If we are here on the five, we can't do anything. So I want to remove the five ball as well. Or maybe push it, maybe push it somewhere. Push it to, to another direction. You can, you, can, you can construct the key ball as well, like, like I construct the eight ball. I push it into a perfect place. I can also push the key ball into the perfect place. The second last ball. And a good opportunity is if balls are close to each other, then you can do that more easily. So, uh, let's see what I can do here. I need to move, I, need, I would like to move some balls to, to this area here. I would like to do that. I would like, I would re really, really like to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, I will uh, follow the cue ball here. Then I have a cut shot on the 11, then I can push the 5 over there later. There you go. 
Now I make the 11, I try to push the 5 ball to the center of the table. If I miss the 5, I still have the 9 ball there and I have the 12. So nothing can really go wrong here. I would, I would just try to hit the 5 here. Push it over here to a good place. Oh, yeah, there you go. Much, not, not, that, uh, not that perfect, but it got closer here, so... That is okay. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm here on the 5, I can make a little bit of a draw shot. Get into this place for, for the 8 for later. Yeah. There's a very, very nice place to be on the 5. If you come up, if you come up this way with the keyboard, perfect place to be on the 5. Just roll it in soft. You have a perfect break shot there. So I like that. I like that a lot. I just need to make the... I make the 12 ball here. Then I make the 15, maybe 9, and then the 2. Come up here for the 5. Here I will go to this, to that rail and that rail and then back up again. So I need to use left spin. Left spin. A lot of left. Ah, and I missed the shot. I need to use a lot, lot of left spin on that shot. Otherwise I, otherwise I will hit the two ball. Left. I don't want to hit the two ball. There you go. Perfect. The left spin did, did so that I did, did not hit the two ball. Cue ball went over here and then changed back like that. That is very nice. Now I will put it for the nine ball. For the nine ball. Top right spin. I'm missing every shot now. Missing every shot. I'm taking it for granted here. I'm only using my strategy here. <laughs> there you go. Procedure for the little bit too close to the nine. Oof. That would be, be too close to the nine there. Now I need to go to, to, to that way. I'm back for the two ball. Ah. That was a little too close to that. I don't like that. Now I have too much angle on the two ball. I need to go back and forth. That is, this is not good at all. This is not good at all. This is not good. I'd rather be on this side of the five than to be here on the five. That would be a nightmare to be here on the five. So I need to go back and forth. Get, get back to, to this side of the table. Like that, back and forth. That's perfect. Oof, that's a nice shot. Now I have, I have a good shot here. The five. I can make it in the corner or in the side. I will just make it in the side pocket because I will have this kind of angle for the five, and then I can come back up for, for the for the eight ball. Top right spin. There you go. Now look at that. Perfect angle for the eight ball to make a break shot. You see that you, you don't need good skill at all in this game. I missed many times. You just need strategy and then you can run some make some high runs. You, you make some high runs when you know how to do it, how to plan ahead. And I planned ahead. Planned ahead very nicely there in the end. Constructed, constructed the eight ball, constructed the five ball as a key ball, and now I got a great result out of that. Okay. Do I have recording time? Yeah, I have a lot of recording time. Ah, uh, here, here, like uh, unlike the last uh, break shots. The eight ball is so close to the rack, so you, you might scratch it in the in the corner because of that reason. You might scratch there. So I need to use a draw shot here. I use a draw shot. Maybe draw, draw back, hit the rail there instead. So low left spin. There you go, I hit the rail there instead of scratching in the side. 
And now I have only the 15 ball I need to make. I could make the 9, nine ball, but I would hit the 13 too thin, so I, I would not break open anything here because of that reason. I need to make the 15 now, I don't have a choice. No right spin, tough shot. And I already missed the shot because I didn't want to hit it too thin. That is the reason. Didn't want to hit it too thin. Low right spin. Like that. You see, if you hit it too thin, the cue ball will go all the way here, far away from, from the other ball. So. Yeah, I will do that again. Let's try to hit it straight, straight in this time. I hit it too thick. Here, okay, I, have, I, I can only choose the three ball here. I need to draw back the cue ball a little bit. I have the 12 ball in the side. I have the four. Four ball is a perfect ball. Make the four break open the pack, and then you have the one ball. Okay, just draw back the cue ball a little bit. There you go, that's a nice. Uh, uh, yeah, I can, oh, I can't see the four ball fully. It was very close, but I can't see it fully. I need to make the twelve, the twelve ball now. I have to make the twelve ball. Yeah. And then after the twelve, I need to make the six ball. The microphone is in the way. Whoosh. Got to move the microphone away. I need to go to the bo bottom rail and then come back. Yeah, there we go. Now that, is, that was nice. Did I move the camera? Did I move the camera away? I pushed. I think I pushed the camera. Did I push the camera a little bit? <laughs> so let's continue. Now oh, I'm 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 too full on the six. Ah, I'm too full on the six. I can't draw back the cuboid to the pack. I will get stuck in the middle. So my only choice here is to either make the one ball or the four ball after. So I need to roll it forward, sub somewhere into in this place, and then, then I can choose later which ball I will pick. Which ball? Yeah, now it is a one ball. I have a two. Oh, I have a two thin cut on the four. I have a two thin cut on the four. But if I make the four, everything will be open. But that's a risky shot, especially you you leave for the opponent. I don't want to leave something for the opponent. Here's a shot on the nine. I can if I make it inside. I will hit the 14 too thin, and I, I don't really, really like that. I don't really like that. So now, when I messed up, messed up here, it's getting it's getting much harder. So my, my only choice here is to make the one uh, stop here, and then, then I make the four four ball. If I don't get good position on the four, I still have the nine. So that is good. There you go, a little too thin on the four there. Should I make a nine ball instead? Yeah, I can make the nine here. It's gonna be a tough shot here, but... Uh, yeah, if I break open, if I hit the 14 here, the cue ball might, might end up here and I have a shot on the two ball. So two ball is my backup ball here. I hit the 14, uh, maybe I will push the seven. Maybe I get a shot on the 11 in the corner. Okay. Here. Yeah, I use a draw shot here. Otherwise, if when I when I hit the, with the cue ball, if I hit the fourth, the 30 ball with the cue ball, and then the four, 14 cue ball will, will end up going uh, to this this location over here. But if I use a draw shot, it will curve go backward like that, the position for the two ball. I will do that. Low right, low left spin. 
Oops, so oh, I hit it, hit it fuller so the keyboard blew back here instead. I hit it, oh, that is a lot of draw on that shot. Normally the keyboard would have ended up going, going that way with the normal shot, but when I use draw on the keyboard it just came back after hitting those balls. And it hit those balls thin as well, so that is interesting. Here I need to break open these balls very quickly. And ah, yeah, look at that. I think I'm going to hit a 10 ball and Cuba will follow. I might scratch in the in the in the corner. I, I will try to hit the five. Hit the five there. I did not hit the five, and I missed the ball because of that. Because I tried to change the angle that the cue ball would take. I tried to change the angle. Ended up missing the pocket because of that reason. So I will just have to go for the two ball after. Okay, I don't have a choice here. Got to pick the pick the two ball right now. Yeah, I need to draw draw into the pack there. I don't have much of a choice. Need to make a tough shot. Try to hit the five ball here. The five ball I get stuck, but I opened I had to open some balls here. Now I got lucky, I will I'm on the five. I got lucky. And can I make this combination? No, I can't. I have so few balls left. And this is something that often happens if you, if you fail in the beginning. This is something that, that often happens. I can, yeah, I can look, I can make the seven in the side, very tough shot, but I will avoid, I will, I will avoid a lot of headaches later if I just take a tough shot right now. Then I, I, I have fixed many problems. I have fixed many problems if I do that. So I will go for the tough seven in the side pocket. There you go, fix the problem, you see? Problem solved. Now let's look at the break, break ball here. What kind of break? The, the 14 is too high up, the 10 is too close to the rack. Uh, five ball can be used as a break ball, make the five in the side. Ooh, tough. These are tough uh, si situation I have here, very tough situation. I, I, I'm thinking about uh, oof, maybe constructing something, but uh, oof, I, I really can see a solution here. How I can construct something. If, I'm, if I would be here on the five, I could make the five in the side, push the 14 away a little bit there. But uh, I, don't, I don't have a good shot on, on any of these balls at all to be able to do that. I need, I need to shoot either the 14 or the 5 right now. And then constructing a ball is going to be more, more difficult after. So yeah, I think I just make, I will make the 14. Uh, I will draw. I will try to draw into the eleven, make the eleven hit the rail, and then come back up here. This is a risky shot. So I will try to construct the break ball like, like that. And I missed the shot. I will remove this this plastic. Yeah, how how was it like this? I will, I'm drawing back into the into the eleven here. Drawing back into the eleven. Try to construct a break ball out of that, like that. And it was too soft. I wanted I wanted it to go higher up here. So that did not work. That did not work. I think we have to settle for the five ball as the break ball. We don't have a choice now. We have tried our best. Uh, here I can yeah I can draw back into the ten here. That is my final final attempt to create a break ball. My final attempt. 
Yeah, and I missed the tail. So okay, we use the five as the break pull then. We can also use the four as a break pull. The four can also be a break pull. But I think I prefer the five ball as a break ball. You can you choose either one of them. It depends on how I get on the four. The four ball here and I'm good on the four. Just roll back, try to pass this spot there. It's a tough shot, it's so close to the rail. Let's see if I'm, oof, I'm a bit too close to that rail there. Now we have a break ball, the five in the side. be able to break open the pack quite nicely from from that shot. It is getting, getting very hot in my back from the sunlight shining on my back in, in the morning now. Getting some heat stroke. Do I have recording time? I want to play until the end. Now, okay, my wall is going to be in the way now, so I need to move it closer. Got to move it closer, it's like a little cheating here. But I don't have a choice. And now I can break over the pack with top spin. I use top left spin because I'm worried about the scratch in, in the side there. I want the keyboard to go a little, maybe hit the rail there with the top spin. Go through the pack. I want to know if I can, can go through the pack here with top left spin. There I did not go through the pack, but I opened up everything very nicely. Should have hit that a little too a little harder, but I was worried about missing the pocket. If you shoot hard into the side pocket, you can easily miss it. Here is a good chance. I, I will make the seven ball hit the rail there, break open the eight ball there. Then I will have a chat on the, either the three ball or the twelve ball in the side. So I'll do that. I'll try to break open the eight ball here. Oops! I he meant the cue ball went in the wrong direction. So I should have used more right speed on that shot. Okay, I was just worried that I would miss the eight completely. Here on the thirteen, I make the thirteen in the corner. Yeah, 13 in the corner. Got to break open some ball, balls after. Here I see a combination here. 15, 14 combination. I just need to remove the 4 from the way. Got to remove the 4 from the way. And uh, yeah. Mm. Let's see what else I can do. There's really not. The 13 is blocking the two ball, so I can't make the, make the two ball so easily. So I will, I will make the 13 ball. I will go around the table, maybe hit the, hit the 12 ball on the way. Move it further away. It is, it is too close to these balls. So right spin. Hit the 12 ball, move it out there. Perfect. Now I have a good, better layout here. Now I will make the three ball. It's going to be a problem later. And I, I would really like to oof, look at just I can make the I can make the fifteen in the corner after I have made the two ball so and also I can make the six in the corner after I made the two ball so I will play position for the two ball after the three ball. That's a good good plan. First make the three ball and now make the two ball and that will clear out the path for the one and the six. Okay. Now I just need to play position uh, somewhere here, maybe maybe here for the for the eleven. Make the eleven play position here for the six, or maybe for the ten. I just want to be somewhere in this location. Okay, somewhere there is good. Somewhere in that location. Let's see what we got. Yeah, now I, I have the perfect angle on this on the eleven to come up here for the six. So I will do that. There you go. Whoa! I think I can't. Oh, I can't see the six here. I went too. 
I came too high up here. I can't. I can't see the six pole. It is, I'm, I'm snookered here. This is going to be a problem. Okay. Oof, I think I need to. Yeah, I I need to make the combination. Okay. This is a time when I need to make the combination because. I have only three balls left there. How can I get position for, for, for these balls? I might mess up again. I might mess up again and then I have, I have used up a couple balls over here and then I mess up here and then I still need to make the combination, okay? And I don't want that. So I might as well do it right now. I'm going to make the combination and then I can break open this, this cluster at the same time. So one ball in the corner and break open the cluster. There you go, but I don't... Whew. I can make the 14. I can make the 14 here, so I will do that. I make the 14 here. Tough shot. Need to, need to use inside spin because I can't reach the, the right side of the cube ball. So inside, inside spin is a lot, lot tougher to, to do on every shot. A hundred times tougher to use inside spin. How, how were the balls now like that? Inside spin again. What, what am I doing? You see, I, I can attempt this a hundred times. You see, how, you see how difficult it is with in, inside spin on, on the shot. A hundred times easier with outside spin. Okay, a hundred times easier with outside spin, and now with inside spin I miss every shot. Just let's see how many times it would take to make the shot with inside spin. With outside spin, very easy. Okay, I can make it many times in a row, but with inside spin, extremely difficult. And there you go, I think I made it here. Finally I made it, okay. Time to construct the 15. I hit the 15 thin. Ah, I think the 15 will go, go too close to the, to the rack there, so I can't do that. I, can, I can't do that. So constructing the break board here is going to be quite a, quite, quite a difficult. So I think that will be for the next video. Yeah, next video. I don't have recording recording time left. So until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.